Joining me now is the new Editor-in-Chief of the Journal of Materials Research, Ramamurthy Ramesh. Congratulations again for taking over the helm for Gary Messing. Tell us, what are the types of articles and research you publish? It's a Journal of Materials Research. All materials, anything that is under the purview of Materials Research Society is acceptable there. But having said that, we definitely want top quality papers papers that will change how you think about materials. So uh, papers on functional materials, you know, you know, information storage, for example, solar cells, energy materials, battery materials, biomaterial, tissues. Um, how do you make materials? You know, can you make them like you make pancakes? Or can you make them like you make Indian food? You know, put everything in and let's hope for the best. So. We welcome papers in all of those topics. And what is it about the journal that drew you? Oh, it's actually MRS. MRS is an amazing society. I mean, I've been, since my graduate school days, which is a million years ago, uh, I've been involved in MRS. And it's always stood for cutting edge science, cutting edge technology, cutting edge materials research. And so it's been fantastic on a very parochial level. It's been fantastic for my career. You know, where I am is, I think, because of MRS. And uh, helping with the journal is my way of saying thank you, MRS. Well, so what's your vision for JMR? Vision, yes, that's a good point. Vision is to make it as competitive as the big journals. Well, one aspect that's been very successful, the focus issues. Yeah. Tell us about uh, the purpose or where you want that to go. Yeah, so, um, you know, focus issues, let's say you're a new student, okay? And you want to know, you're getting into some field, let's say oxides, you know, is my field, so oxides. So you as a student need to have a single point where you could say, huh, let me go read this particular journal and I'll have a good starting point. You know, the focus issues will do that. They'll have maybe eight to 10 articles, which are all reasonably focused on one specific problem area, you know, oxide materials or tissue materials, whatever it is. They're giving you immediate jolt, immediate jump start to figure out what are the big questions that people are asking. And so we are pushing that very hard. Uh, going back to the invited speakers, uh, that's another way to get a focused issue. But you do it with one speaker at a time. And all of them, we have maybe 600 invited speakers here. And those people were saying, hey, turn around and write a very short perspective, a focused issue. Uh, uh, article which says, why was this an invited talk? And what does a student or a professor or anybody else learn from that? We are constantly pinging our uh, membership. Hey guys, if you're interested in putting together focus topics, please let us know. Come back to us, write a short one page summary of what the focus topic is, and we will evaluate and make sure that it's all consistent with our own expectations. And then we commission the, the focused issue. And how do you actually acknowledge and recognize some of the amazing work that's published? Oh, many ways. I mean, for old people like me, the, the biggest recognition is a citation. I mean, and I live and die with citations of your papers. And every year, uh, my predecessor, and I will be following that again, uh, we have the best paper uh, award. Uh, something which has had impact on people, on the readership. Uh, typically, you know, number of citations, for example. You know. So there are many ways by which, you know, the, the, uh, the society is, is, is kind of rewarding or thanking people for publishing impactful papers. Well, it sounds like you have a big job ahead of you. So oh, looking forward right. to seeing how it uh, plays out. You're exactly right. Yeah, and congratulations again, uh, Journal of Materials Research. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's a pleasure.